General Grievous has called forward his entourage. Boggle the Lesser, a Geonosian general, a tactical droid, a great strategic mind, and finally a commander droid. Someone who rarely makes a difference in the battlefield. These fellas are in need of a new battle droid army, and I'm just the guy to do it. This is my tub of Lego minifigures. I have at least a hundred or so battle droids in here, and we're gonna need them because we have five days to build General Grievous a massive battle droid army. Here, we've got ourselves uh, yeah, a big old bag of battle droids right there. We've got a snail tank, uh, another snail tank over here, but that's not all. We've also got five days worth of Lego minifigures coming in the mail. That's right, USPS is delivering me a ton, hundreds and hundreds of Lego battle droids over the next five days that I ordered online from Bricklink, eBay, all over the place. Day one, we're starting off by just looking for Lego minifigures in this bin, and day two, we'll get into the shipments of Lego battle droids that I've got coming in. If you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below. We're gonna have a huge giveaway at the very end of this video, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna start looking for Lego minifigures in here, and I'll report back on how many we have and I'll line them all up. But real quick, before we begin, a word from our sponsor. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Okay, scoured the entire bin and this is what I found. So uh, we've got ourselves one massive bag of battle droids right here. We've also got a bag of uh, small droidicas. I don't know how damaged these all are and if I'm going to be able to build them all back up because I'm not sure the instructions. We'll try. I also have another old school General Grievous, which is really cool because these shot up in value recently. They're like $40 now, so that's cool to see. Also got a bunch of scrap droids here that I found at the bottom. Gonna have to build these up. Got a stop speeder, two snail tanks, and a droid carrier that is so destroyed. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to build this one either. I also snagged some like Mandalorians and like this pirate guy. I don't know, maybe we'll have a little separatist sympathizer section of the battle. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Fun little bonus, I found an extra Captain Rex phase one helmet. I don't know where this is from. Either way, let's get all of this back to General Grievous at the table and see what kind of damage we can do. Here's everything for day one, which is essentially just my existing Lego droid army. I think what I wanna do is I wanna rebuild the vehicles and then I'm gonna put all of the droids themselves into a box and then at the very last day, we're gonna put all of the droids together. That way I can really plan them out because we're gonna have different colored droids and different colored sections and stuff like that. So General Grievous is gonna have to wait a few days for his army to be fully built. Let me go ahead and reassemble these tanks and then we'll get a box. Just finished building all of this. We have a number of these droidicas, really cool. We also got two dwarf spiders, but this hinge is actually broken and it won't clip on here, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna see if I have another hinge like that. It's a pretty weird part though, I just don't know. Also managed to build the two snail tanks. We've also got one tri-droid and a stop speeder. Here is our bowl for the droids. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, smell that. Oh yeah, fresh, fresh droids, straight out the factory. And we're just gonna pour them on in here. Beautiful, B-E-A, beautiful. And we got one more little bag here. Nice. So, this is currently General Grievous' army after day one. Let's go ahead and get the packages from day two. Two. See you in a second. Oh boy, the mailman has come. Let's take these to the table. I did take them out of the packages because I didn't want to accidentally leak my address. Starting us off, we have a smaller bag right here, and this is actually filled with older droids. I decided to purchase a few of the old school droids with their backpacks and all that because I thought they looked really, really cool. They cost the same as the regular droids because these two extra pieces really don't add up to all that much, but you can actually tell by the style of the plastic as well as the fact that they don't have 
have the outward facing hand that they are the old school droids. And it looks like he included a half of a Geonosian droid as well. So get added to the pile boys. Then we have a bit of a larger bag here and this looks like a mix of droids but primarily standard B1s in here. We've also got a Kashyyyk battle droid in here too. I know I ordered a lot more of these as well. So we'll have a whole section of the army for Kashyyyk. And then it looks like we have a blue pilot droid as well. And yeah, some more Kashyyyk troopers. So added on into the pile. This lot off of eBay was a bit random of a hodgepodge. We had one super battle droid, one assassin droid, which I count as separatist droids, why not? One commando droid, and one Geonosian droid. Final lot of the mix. Oh, yeah, get that out of there. There we go, and this is looking like, yeah, one of those lots of Kashyyyk droids I bought. Oh, and some standard droids in there as well. All right, I would say after day two, we added maybe 60 more droids, something along those lines. So we're looking at probably like, I, I don't know, I, I'd say a couple hundred droids just judging by this right now. The army grows. Let's get into day three. Welcome to day three, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, we have a small little package right here of a very, very large mix of droids. We've actually got two more of those little droidicas, which is gonna be nice for the droidica army in this. There we go, all nice and rebuilt. Oh no, he's missing an ear. Beautiful, good to have two more of those. Then the rest of these are really a hodgepodge. We've got a rocket commander, which is kind of cool to see. Then it looks like a assassin droid who is stuck in a droid, another assassin droid, some commando droids. That nice. <laughs> a pair of super battle droid legs. Hopefully we can match that to someone or just give this guy some beefy legs. My dude never skips leg day. Another pilot droid and then the rest are just standard B1s. Next lot we've got right here is going to be a bunch of these Kashyyyk droids and this person really didn't want to save the planet who shipped it to me because he individually wrapped every single one of these. What? This is unnecessary. It's not like a Captain Rex figure where like, yeah, okay, I didn't individually wrap each of those because they're valuable, you don't want them scratched, but like, th these are just Kashyyyk droids. But don't worry, I'll still save these plastic bags so it won't be a complete waste. I do use these little mini bags for accessories in my daily bricks mystery bags, which you can find the link in the description below if you want to buy some mystery bags. There we go, I'm guessing that was maybe another 20 Kashyyyk droids, I'd like to say. And the final bag for this day is going to be this big chungus right here. Yeah, this is just a bunch of droids. It was literally listed as, you know, some incomplete droids, some complete droids, uh, and a whole bunch of weapons as well. I think they might have purchased a bunch of like 501st battle packs because these are all brand spanking new droids. They're not scuffed, there's nothing wrong with them. So I do think that. Put all of these guys into the bowl and then let's go ahead and pour all of this in here. Oh my God, the bowl is almost full and it's day three, dude. I wanna try this. Uh, I couldn't find another good hinge for this. So I figure a standard B1 arm and we have plenty of those available to us. Uh, so this might not work perfectly <laughs> and it does look a little janky, but clearly the separatists had to do some field repairs on this thing uh, and they got it back up and running. Just one B1 droid had to sacrifice his arm for it. All right, day four time. It is now day four and the mailman has just delivered these packages right here. So number one, we do have a little bit of vehicle action. This, and don't quote me on this, I believe is the first ever dwarf spider made by Lego. It's from the Wookiee Attack set, which I actually have a review up on the Daily Tactics podcast where I talk all things Lego. I decided to go ahead and buy this set and it also comes with the very first Lego snail tank, which is really trippy and retro looking, but I really love it. It also comes with a small Wookiee catamaran, not featured here because it's not droid army, but I also need it for a, another video I'm working on. Then we've also got a plethora more droids. This bowl is getting too filled up, so 
I got ourselves a second bowl. I can't believe we need a second bowl because this first one is huge. Okay, starting off day four, we have a bunch more droids and this lot came with a bunch of rocket droids, which I wanted to make a small squad of those, so that's perfect. We, I think, have enough now for a squad and I think there's a couple more packages incoming that will have more of those. There's also more B1s. Oh, I dropped one. You're right, comrade. Roger, roger. Okay, you can never have too many B1s, so perfect. Then we've also got this, I can't really tell what's inside, I'm guessing battle droids, and indeed, yes, more battle droids in some little baggies here. We can do the salt bay pour. Next up, we have another baggie of more just standard battle droids. Oh, there's also a pilot in here, excellent. Okay, good, good, good. I like getting the variety. The B1s, of course, are going to be the backbone of the army. We definitely have the most of those, but having, having variety is good too. One last final teeny tiny bag before we get into the biggest bag of the day that came in the mail. And that would be this sucker. And it looks like we have a variety of interesting droids here. We got some more rocket droids. Pilot, uh, rocket droid commander I'm seeing. There's also a very strange black droid in here. Is this painted? Okay, this is most definitely painted on, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's painted or Sharpie or something along those lines. But hey, we have a black droid in here now. And it looks like it also came with a variety of weapons, though I think when we line up all of the droids, we're gonna subtract all of the rifles and weapons just because it makes it hard to put them together. And into the new bowl. Y'all go. This is what the end of day four is looking like. And I know day five is going to blow this out of the water. So I'll be back with that. Day five is upon us. And this is the largest single lot that I purchased during this entire thing. It finally came on day five and it is a lot of well over 100 battle droids. Scout really, no, no, no. No, <laughs> he knows what he tried to do. <laughs> little goon. This is well over 100 battle droids that I purchased. I think it came out to like 150 or something like that and the guy since I was buying in such bulk made me a deal for about a buck a droid which is not horrible. I usually call battle droids about a one dollar minifigure. In actuality you usually have to buy them from anywhere between two dollars and 250 and then if they have the blasters people end up tacking on another 25 cents. So this was a heck of a deal. And then we have another little baggie and one more little baggie from this lot. That is a lot of B1 battle droids. In addition to that, we did get two other lots in the mail. Uh, this appears to just be like four or five droids I purchased. And then there's this final lot right here. The last lot of day five and the last lot of the video before we actually have to assemble this. And it, did I buy from the same person who sealed individually all of these? Oh my God. Okay, well we have more Kashyyyk droids, individually wrapped. Perfect. You walk up to a house on Halloween and see this. What you doing? Hey Zelda, will you come here? What? What are your thoughts on, on this? Oh, I thought that was like food and I was sick. <laughs> like food. popcorn like, or something? Disgusted. Or like stroganoff. <laughs> <laughs> like beef stroganoff. I'm so glad no, they're, that. they're all little battle droids. Yeah, I just want to know how many there are. Like hundreds. Oh I wouldn't be surprised if a thousand. After five days, this is what we've got. And now we have the strenuous task of putting them all on base plates and lining them up. <sighs> Let's get going. All right, this actually took a few hours to set up. Here, is just some of the droids because there's more over here. Yeah, these are all B1 battle droids right here and right here. And then we have the rest of the droids in here, the Kashyyyk droids, the super battle droids, commando droids, rocket droids, etc. that I'm hoping will fit on the back of this base plate behind the standard droids. And then we can link the two base plates together. These are all of the extra arms, legs, and chest plates. No extra heads, which is very bizarre, but that's what we got. And then here's all the weapons thus far gathered. We have disarmed the droid army, but they will pummel you with their little metal fists. And here is the full army in all of its magnificent glory. Look at this thing, man. Hundreds and hundreds of battle droids all in a row. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Then we have all of the Kashyyyk troopers back here as well as the uh, rocket troopers back this way and uh, a few 
like mismatched Geonosian troopers. I, I couldn't really figure out how to put them. Pilots, some of them have really bad hinges on them, so they're sort of bending over. Uh, there's security droids, super battle droids, we've got 21 of those, uh, and then the three old school radio op troopers right there. So quite the army, but we still have our sort of like separatist uh, humans. We, we got some Mandalorians and a pirate for hire. I think we'll put them in the command structure. Uh, we've also got ourselves some assassin droids and commando droids. So I'm going to try and fit them all in here. And then we also are going to have to line up all of our vehicles here and then put the actual commanders like Poggle the Lesser, General Grievous, etc. at the very front. So I'll go ahead and do that now. The command structure is all in place now as well as all of the vehicles. So let's start with the vehicles. We have 10 of these small droid gods. We have three different generations of spider droids. We have a single stop speeder, which I put the black droid who is spray painted on it because, eh, why not? Then we've got one of these tri droids and three generations of snail tanks behind that. I remember I used to have another one of these snail tanks, I believe, but I gave it away in a past giveaway, so we no longer have it. As for the command structure here, we do have two General Grievous, one with a cape, one without. I don't know where the other's cape is. We, of course, have a tactical droid, Puggle the Lesser. We've got uh, five Mandalorians right there and one pirate. Then we've also got nine commando droids. Uh, we've got like 12 of these assassin droids, the IG-88 series. And then, of course, there is all of the battle droids here. These things are magnificent, and they go on for miles. This took up two entire base plates to go ahead and make, which is a lot. This is probably the largest LEGO army of any type I have ever formed. And I have to say, I'm pretty hyped about it. I've always really been into clone army building, but droid army building is right up there with it. And... I have plans to expand this. I think we're going to do another episode of this in the future where we build an even bigger battle droid army in the future. Huge shout outs to TJ Plays and Mallow Mupio for becoming channel members. Your names have been added to the assault on Hoth here. If you guys want to become channel members and have a shout out in every video through the Assault on Hoth set, be sure to check the link in the description below or click the join button next to the subscribe button. As for the giveaway, we're giving away one of the Republic fighter tanks today so you can start building both your clone army and droid army because the figure selection in this is impeccable. All you gotta do is hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below. What's the largest army you have in your LEGO collection? It could be Minecraft zombie armies, it could be Lego Stormtrooper Army, Lego Battle Droid Army like mine, it could be a Lego Clone Trooper Army, it could even be a Lego City Police Force Army. Let me know in the comment section below, and next week, in the description of the next video, will be the winner. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe I with notifications on, and comment video. down below be to sure enter. To Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, I'll see you on the next one, if you'd like peace! To be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.